Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the FM Scout YouTube channel with me, Teach FM. And in today's episode, we are revisiting our Into the Future Wonder Kid series, in which we take a current Football Manager 2017 Wonder Kid and see how they progress when left to the AI alone. Now, before we get into today's experiment, which is, of course, featuring Gabriel Barbosa of Inter Milan, I would just like to point you in the direction of my channel, where I'm currently in charge of Manchester United, soon to be heading into season three. So if you wouldn't mind maybe coming by, taking a view of a couple of the videos, maybe even dropping a cheeky little sub, that'll be grand. The link will be in the description. So Gabriel Barbosa, a player known to many, many football manager fans over the years. And it has to be said that he does epitomise what a wonder kid is. Although in this game, I feel that he's somewhat been nerfed for want of a better term. He's been stronger in previous games. He's still very much a good candidate. Now, one thing I will say before I carry on though, guys, it's a little disclaimer. I sometimes tab it into these videos. This experiment is solely based on what the AI will be able to do with a player. I am a firm believer that when managed correctly by you guys, you will always manage to get a much, much better result with the current Wonder Kids in the game. So that being said, we will move on. And as we can see, his media description is Wonder Kid. With only one player trait of tries killer balls often and currently deployed in the attack midfield right position, of course, Barbosa can play a striker who's been known to play there, but we will focus on where he's starting in this game. So before we go into taking a look at his stats and his history, we can see here he is currently valued at £14 million and earning £83,000 per week at Inter Milan. Of course, in real life, he just signed there at the beginning of this season. With four caps to his name for Brazil and two goals, a goal in every other game for Brazil is not a bad ratio to have, especially considering he's still only 19 years old. So as you can see by the highlighted positions, in his favoured inside forward role on the right hand side where he's currently playing as the game starts, he does sort of have it all. Now, of course, I'm using the sort of rainbow traffic light colours, as it were, for my attributes. We do get to see where the better attributes shine through with his technique being at 16. Now, although we can only see one green, one thing that Gabriel Barbosa does have is a load of yellows and in a good way. So his acceleration and pace of 15 along with agility, his determinations at 15, finishing and first toucher at 15 along with passing. It's showing that although he's not breaking into those higher reaches of his attribute stats, he is just on the cusp of so, so many. So as we go into Gabriel Barbosa's history, we can see that he did of course start his career at Santos in Brazil. Managing to break into the first team in 2013 with 11 appearances and a goal in the league. He did then build on that year on year until his final season in Brazil. Then Inter Milan came knocking to the tune of £23.5 million, which I suppose in today's market is not a horrific amount of money. But nonetheless, I would go as far as saying that Barbosa might have turned out to be quite a bargain for Inter Milan. So as we move into Gabriel Barbosa's landmark achievements now, we can see that he did, of course, win the Brazilian State Championship with Santos in 15 and 16 before managing to pick himself up an Olympic winner's medal for Brazil's part in the 2016 Olympic Games. So as the namesake of the series, guys, we will now head five years into the future and see how Gabriel Barbosa is doing and see where he's even still at Inter Milan. So here we are in the year 2021 and there is one obvious change to Gabriel Barbosa and it is that he is now playing his trade at Red Bull Leipzig. So as you can see his media description is a winger. A little bit of a shame really. I would have liked to have seen that he would have maybe been a world class winger. As we can see he has added a couple of player traits as well. He now runs with the ball down the left, so it maybe indicates that he's been played a little bit more as a winger, but he does also cut inside from the right wing, which is what you would want Gabriel Barbosa to be doing. And just a little side note, we can see that his strike position, he was a natural up there and now only competent. So it goes to show that he has been utilised as a winger from the beginning of the game. And it does show that in the last five years, being utilised as a winger has made him lose his natural ability to be a striker. We can see he's valued at £27.5 and he is earning a little bit more money now at £99,000 per week. But what we'll do is we'll just take a look at a comparison of his stats. 
So as we take a look at his technicals, the first thing that we do notice is, of course, using this traffic light system, his first touch is up to 17 from 15. His passing's gone up to 16 from 15 also. So a couple of, sort of key attributes for his position have been greatly improved. Just a few other ones to highlight, maybe, would be the fact that his dribbling's gone up by one. His penalty taking's gone up by one. But other than that, not that many improvements in the technical department. Again, guys, in his mentals, as you can see here, you can look at these in greater detail. But his off the ball has improved. His decisions have improved. His composure's improved. His vision's improved. You know, what matters for his position has seen improvements, but we've not seen any great improvements in the mental department. However, once again, in the physical department, we can see his accelerations gained one and his paces gained one. His agility's remained the same at 15 and his balance has gone up by 1 to 14. Natural fitness remaining the same, his stamina remaining the same, and his strength going up by 1. Not bad all in all, it's good to see that his physical attributes are going up. What we'll do now is we'll take a look at his history and we'll see how the move to Leipzig came about. So in Barbosa's first year at Inter Milan, he managed just 16 appearances and one goal, which... It's a little bit of a shame, really, having spent, you know, tw nearly £24 million. You'd have thought they'd have used him more. But probably what's a little bit more depressing for the lad himself is the following year, he made a lousy four appearances. 6.45 average rating, very, very poor. Although he got more appearances in the following year, the fact that he still finished with a 6.65 is very, very average. And then the following year, he made three appearances before getting loaned out to Lazio. Where well, it has to be said, at least he got more games. But at this point, Leipzig came calling to basically offer Inter Milan their money back. And after a dreadful four seasons, it looks like Inter just bit the hand off. But the good news for Barbosa, though, is that first year in the Bundesliga was a very, very successful one based on his previous four. With 33 appearances, 10 goals, 11 assists, he got three player of the match. 7.14 is more like what we expect to see from the current crop of wonder kids. So as we move into his landmark achievements, it has to be said for his time at Inter, at least he came away with something. He did manage to win the Serie A in 2017 and also the Super Copa in 2017. So... From what was a very, very rough period in his career, at least he managed to leave with some silverware, it has to be said. But that's where it ended. No personal achievements, no personal accolades. Of course, team of the weeks, this, that and the other. But nothing worth a mention. No player of the year or anything like that. So what we'll do now is we'll head once again into the future, five years, and we will see Gabriel Barbosa once he's 29 years old. So here we have a 29-year-old Gabriel Barbosa. And you would have to hope that he had somewhat some success at Red Bull Leipzig because he now plays for the European giant that is Barcelona. As we can see, he still only has a media description of a winger. So unfortunately, he's never quite made it to world class, which is a little bit of a shame because as I say, a lot of us guys who've been playing football manager for a long time, maybe sort of hedged our bets on the fact that Gabriel Barbosa would make it in this experiment. But the experiments change every time. I could run the exact same thing again. I'm sure we'd get a different result, but we do have to go with what's in front of us. He's now valued at 21.5 million. He's earning much more money at 140k a week. However, at Barcelona, he is only classed as a rotation player. And as we take a look at his stats, guys, we will start with the technicals. And although we're not really seeing any improvements, the drop off at the moment has only been quite small. His dribbling's been affected. He's dropped one there. He's dropped one on his crossing also. Headings dropped by one, but of course, he's only quite a short guy so that would never have really been part of his game anyway his passing has dropped by one which I would say is quite important especially playing in a team like Barcelona and other than that his technique has actually gone up now his mentals um I must admit I'm a bit disappointed as players get older they tend to mentally get better at the game now he was never poor we can see through his mentals here that he always had quite decent mentals to start with but when we consider at these age brackets he never really ended up with any greens um, just a little bit disappointing really so I'll leave these stats here for a second you can pause if you want and, and, and take a quick look but I'll be honest guys there's not really that much to talk about when it comes to his mentals it's still okay just never quite made it to the top level. And as we expect with a 29-year-old player, the physicals have started to diminish somewhat. Both his pace and acceleration dropping one along with his strength. He has gained a little bit of stamina as, he, as he's got older. But yeah, maybe, maybe Barbosa just never quite made it. We will go take a look at his career stats though and see why Barcelona made the move for him. And it has to be said, I wasn't really expecting that. 
Barbosa only managed to spend that one season at Leipzig. Obviously, with a relatively stellar season in retrospect compared to the four seasons prior, Barcelona came knocking instantly. They doubled Leipzig's money at 48.5 million. And it has to be said that he did somewhat go on to improve. His first season at Barcelona with 28 appearances, six goals, four assists, he did improve a slight bit on his Leipzig season. In the following year, he did take somewhat of a dip though, only managing seven goals and two assists playing from the wing with a 6.93 average rating. And then that was it. It sort of must have springboarded him. In his later years, he did manage to get a 7.45 average rating, a 7.4, and in his final season before this one, a 7.06. So all in all, improvements made. He's obviously playing for a big club now in Europe. So we will take a look at any landmark achievements and see whether he's managed to fill the trophy cabinet a little bit. And yeah, he's um, not, not really. You know, I mean, he has added three more trophies, two of them being the La Liga title, which, you know, when you're at Barcelona, it's almost like a given. I suppose it's like if we were to be doing a Wonder Kid series and it was a, a young lad from Juventus, we'd expect him to have bustling trophy cabinets. So he has managed to grab himself a couple of them and the FIFA Club World Cup. But it just goes to show that even Barcelona may be not quite dominating the top of the Spanish league. And when I went to look at Barbosa's personal achievements, I was actually quite surprised. In the year 23-24, he managed to get the European Golden Boot. Playing for Barcelona, he managed 11 appearances, scoring 9 goals. So maybe a little bit of a shining light on what was maybe quite a, a relatively average career. So the time has come to go once again into the future, guys. This is where we're going to see whether Barbosa remains in the game as maybe a manager, director of football or a coach or simply retires from football altogether. And here we are in the year 2032, and a retired Gabby Goal has now become a manager, currently without a club, which is unsurprising. He's still at a relatively young age. But yeah, as we can see, his career-ending caps was only 27 for Brazil. He did manage to get 13 goals though, so for those 27 caps, he certainly gave them bang for buck, but I would imagine he would have to be very disappointed with that, because I know as a, a little bit of a Barbosa fan, I'm pretty disappointed with it. So as we take a look into Barbosa's career stats in his, what would be classed as, a, I suppose, his twilight years, as his career is really beginning to wind down, it has to be said in his final three years at Barcelona, he's actually done quite well. He managed to get a 7.01 average rating, a 7.09 average rating, and then in his final year, a 7.40 rating, which is belting, to be honest. It's really, really good. He did manage to notch up 13 goals in that final season, but of course, his contract was running out at Barcelona. They obviously decided not to renew. He did then head back to Brazil, to Fluminense, and it has to be said, in his final three years as a player, still kept those average ratings above seven. Now, granted, he was maybe in what you'd class a weaker league, uh, but 7.15, 7.3 and a 7.19, managing to get 13 goals in his in his final season playing football in 2031. At least he carried on right to the end. One thing we will just take a look at, that his career appearances were 450. He managed to get 147 goals, 58 assists, an average rating of 7.15, which is pretty good. His total transfer fees throughout his whole career 96.6 million. We've seen some massive ones on this series. So although he never really made it to be a world-class player, value-wise, he's probably pretty good. So as we head into his personal landmarks then, it has to be said that his trophy cabinet maybe could have ended up bigger. He went on to win another FIFA World Club Cup and then won the Copa Sudamericana with Fluminense in his final year. And that was that. That was it. I mean, he, he won He won nothing more. I mean, this page here, it doesn't scroll anywhere. That was all he managed to win. And I'm genuinely, genuinely disappointed. Now, as I say, I could run this all again and he might go somewhere else and end up with absolute load of medals, loads of trophies. But in this run through, a little bit underwhelming. I also went on to check any personal landmarks, guys. And to be honest, it was just that golden boot that I picked up while at Barcelona. And there was nothing more. So I suppose as we look back at this little experiment, I believe I could get more out of him. But if you were to base it solely on this experiment, would you buy him? I don't know. I think I'd be a little bit on the fence. As I say, I think value-wise, he did sell for some relatively reasonable transfer fees based on the way Football Manager 17's going. But yeah, 
I think you'd have to be a relatively big club. You'd have to try and get in there early, hoping that he has maybe a bad start at Inter Milan in a bid to try and actually get the time to tutor him at a young age to try and turn him into a world beater. So there we have it, guys. That was Gabriel Barbosa into the future here on FM Scout. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It's always appreciated. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you're new around here, maybe consider subscribing. And one last thing before we go, if you've not checked out fmscout.com, please do. It's the place to go for all your football manager news, tips, tricks, tactics, you name it, graphics, they're all there. Head over there, that's fmscout.com. Take a look. I've been Teach FM and I'll catch you in the next one.